welcome to Money Text Group. In this video, we are going to learn about resultant fabric content of a mechanical blended three thread French terry fabric. Actually, it's a continuation video of a yarn percentage calculation of a three thread French terry fabric. Whoever is watching this video for the first time, I have provided a link in this video for a yarn percentage contribution to how to calculate the yarn percentage calculation in a three thread French terry fabric. Please watch that video first followed by this video. How to calculate the resultant fabric content in a mechanical blended three thread French terry fabric. Since as I told this is a continuation video, I have taken the results of the previous video. The, the fabric quality is obviously the three thread French terry. And yarn count we have considered in the previous video is 34 in the all knit, 50 linear polyester in the semi knit and 2 bar 20s in the loop. And the loop length what we have followed, that what we have considered in the previous video, the same loop length I have considered here, 43.5 cm, 31 cm in the semi knit and 17 cm in the loop. With this two yarn count and loop length data, in the previous video we have arrived the all knit 34 count contribution is 39.111% and semi knit 50 linear polyester contribution is 88.91% 8, 8 and for the looper 2 bar 20s it is 51.98. Since we are going to find out the resultant fabric content, I have provided two different examples. One is with the cotton polyester blended fabric mechanical blend, another one is with the Tri blend. Let's see how to calculate the resultant fabric content just with the percentage, the yarn percentage contribution of all knit, semi knit, and looper. The first in the first example I have considered the 34 count is 100% cotton and 50 linear the semi knit yarn is 100% polyester and backside looper 2 bar 20s I have considered 60 40 cotton poly in case. Just by using all knit cotton, semi knit poly, and backside looper 60 40 cotton polyester with this yarn count and loop length and with this proportion, what will be the resultant fabric content? Let's calculate. The first all knit 34, it is 100% cotton. The percentage contribution of all knit is 31.99, sorry, 39.11. I uh, have considered exactly the, uh, the complete full quantity as a cotton and the polyester is zero uh, nullified number two 50 linear it is 100 percent polyester and the contribution is 8.191 so i've considered completely in the polyester side and third one is two or 20s it is 60 40 cotton polyester and the contribution is and it is contributing almost 51.98 since this is 60 percent cotton and 40 percent poly we need to split the content 51.98 60% need to be considered in cotton and 40% need to be considered in the polyester 51.98 into 60% that is 31.19 that we have considered in the cotton side and 51.98 into 40% that is the polyester content that is 20.79 that is considered on the polyester side so now we have Splitted the percentage based on the content used in the all knit, semi knit, and looper yarn. Now we are going to sum it up. All knit 34 is 339.111 and 2 bar 20 is 31.19. Just if we add these two values, we'll get 70.3. And the polyester in the semi knit 8.91 plus the 2 bar 20 is twisted yarn, the 40% contribution 20.79 will get 29.70. So the resultant fabric content, if we use 34 100% cotton and 50 linear poly and 2 bar 20 60 40 cotton poly, will get the resultant fabric content 70.3% cotton and 29.7% poly. This is the dual blend. I have provided here one more example for a tri blend. How I have considered for a tri blend is the all knit 34s I have considered 60 40 cotton viscose. Instead of 100% cotton, I have taken 60 40 cotton viscose. The semi knit 
I have kept as it is as per in the previous example 50 linear poly I have considered as 100% polyester and 2 bar 20 is twisted I have considered 80-20 cotton poly in the previous example we have considered 60-40 so totally 3 different blends are there cotton, viscose and polyester so, so I have split it cotton, poly and viscose first the all knit 34 count 34 count the contribution is 39.11% in that 60% is cotton and 40% is viscose so we need to split 39.11 60% for cotton contribution for cotton content and 40% for viscose 39.11 into 60% is 23.47 and 39.11 into 40% is 15.64% is viscose the second semi knit is 50 dinner it's polyester so I have considered the complete contribution 8.91 completely in the polyester there is no cotton and viscose so I have we have left black and third one is 2 bar 20s it is a 80 20 cotton polyester so we need to split the content 51.98 percent 80 percent need to be considered in the cotton and 20 percent need to be considered in the polyester so 51.98 into 80 percent is nothing but 41.58 that we have considered in the cotton side and 51.98 into 20 percent it is nothing but 10.40 percent that we have considered in the polyester so there is no viscose so we have left blank so now we are we are going to add each and every content cotton polyester and viscose so finally we have got this is the sum of value the resultant fabric content if we use 34 60 40 cotton viscose 50 linear 100 percent polyester and 2 bar 20 is 80 20 cotton poly with this proportion 39.11% in the all net and 8.91% in the semi net and 51.98% in the looper will get 65.05% cotton, 19.31% polyester and 15.64% viscose. This is the methodology we need to apply wherever any mechanical blend we use. I hope this video is very useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye from your Money Text Group. Bye-bye.